So the fourth reason that I, I've observed businesses are not good at innovation is eventually they kind of wise up to the fact that they need a process uh, and they might put in some ideation processes some improve their project management, put in some commercialization processes and they get better at it over time, they hire specialists, maybe they'll buy in some fancy software for project management and they get slicker at the, the process of innovation and they think yeah we're good at this now but in fact it, it rarely moves the needle, it doesn't make a huge difference in terms of the business's ability to innovate and, and grow through new products. And the reason is this one, that businesses fail to realize that innovation is not some kind of standalone thing and it's not kind of let the innovators in, in the corner and do their stuff. It's actually part of, of the real business, the day-to-day -day business. So it has to be done within a real business. And there, there are, as I said at the start, there is a whole structure and organization and a whole culture which surrounds this ability uh, to, to create new products and so it's this you remember at the start you remember the internal factors that I had in red so the, the internal factors come from uh, it's, it's the way that the the organization and the culture impinge on this process and it's these touch points which create the barriers create these internal factors and those are the things we're going to identify, okay? Those are the things you need to understand what's happening in your business and what then you can do something about it. And because of this, I, I, I have this phrase, I talk about the biggest barrier to innovation is your own business. So I, I come to realize that innovation just isn't a process. I actually, I, I see there are three tiers to successful innovation. You have to get the organization right. And by that I mean reporting structure, uh, accountability, ownership of projects as they're handed over or not between different roles. The process we've talked about and then culture, attitudes, behaviours, the way people and teams work together and collaborate or not. And the whole business of um, um, team working and team dynamics, that's rolled up in culture. So you actually have to uh, look at all three tiers in order to unlock the ability of your business to grow through innovation.